Creature Con 2018 and I ran into one of the best of the bad. We got Jason Voorhees right here. How you doing, man? Good. Uh, I have to ask you, I know it's a tender subject, but with the uh, issues and the lawsuits for the current video game, No More DLC, I mean, luckily you got into the game in this version, but how do you feel about that? Yeah, I know, right? right? As far as the next film, uh, well, either was it hiatus or pushed back? But we're looking forward to see you on the screen again. Is that something you're willing to do, that you really want to do? We're, we're trying, but you know, it's... Pretty much. Freddy vs. Jason, or are you, since you're already meeting, you're looking forward to getting in the ring with Michael? I'll take that as a yes, guys. All right, man. Well, thank you for your time, and you know, we'll see you at camp, brother. Sinister Creature Con 2018, and we're here with Name's Joel Watson. Art Stoppers, Haunted House. That's us. Now, what can we expect when we walk through the doors of your haunted house? Uh, it's pretty crazy this year. We are back at the mine shaft location um, over in Rancho Cordova. Uh, it's a huge three story structure that we can move and take over. There's an upstairs, there's a basement, uh, there's a whole outdoor area. Uh, it's pretty in intense. Three story. Okay, I've been maybe two. Technically, but three and a basement. Yeah, yeah, you had that basement and it gets freaky. Do I want to go in the basement? Depends on how sick you might be. We'll, we'll see more, more of this pretty much at every turn. Yeah, this is kind of tame for what we do, but yeah, this is just a little sample. This is tame. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> That's tame. <laughs> Uh, prices are at $25, uh, we basically in the, the weekends in October. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. All October? Yeah, the whole month long, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Okay, okay. So, that's something to look forward something? to? Absolutely. Yeah, it should be real fun. <laughs> so, no Christmas events? Uh, not this year. We're considering it for maybe next year. A little Krampus action. Up oh, possibly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us yeah. the script episode, remember that? Yeah, yeah. That'd be kind of dope. I'd, I'd cool. like to see yeah, that. The movie was actually really kind of cool. A lot of practical effects. I liked it. It's like anything new on the horizon. Maybe something you haven't tried yet, but... Um, so the basement haunt is going to be our new one for this year. Uh, we used to do two haunted houses in the basement. Uh, we're gutting it and we're doing a whole new complete blackout maze down there. And it's um, it's pitch black and there's all sorts of crazy things that happen. Uh, it's, you're going to get lost a long time down there. Is there a map so we don't get lost? Uh, no. Alright then. <laughs> Take it as you will. Maybe you get out, maybe you don't, man. Thank you for your time. No problem, thank you. Uh, enjoy the rest of the show. You
Gone 2018, and I am with uh, Eric. Eric, I spotted you from the other side of the room. This is pretty badass. What you got going? I got the Alien Egg from the Alien franchise. Like in all your patches, put all this together yourself, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, these patches are from the first movie. Uh, it's supposed to be from the Nostromo ship, the first one. And I also got the Whaley Utani badge as well. And then obviously we got my uh, fantastic egg right here. You gotta tell me about the egg. This is all handmade, right? From, from scratch. Scratch, yeah. Uh, this is made out of camping foam. And then textured using liquid latex, tissue paper, and cotton balls. Also for a little rounded base. Mm -hmm. Same thing good for the... Uh, this guy right here. Ah, oh, man. Uh, this guy right here is also made the same way. Except uh, there is no foam. This is a... Uh, this is just a uh, cotton pads. Wow, it for, like, looks for amazing. For makeup. And all hand painted with the airbrush or just uh, hand, hand painted? Hand painted. You see that? You didn't need all the gadgets and gadgets. This guy pretty much made his own movie prop. Uh, when that happens, you know it's over. Two hours later, indigestion, followed by birth. Uh, my goal was to prove that this is, that you can make something uh, crazy like this without having all the fancy tools and gadgets and whatnot to make it. How do you prove that, dude? Uh, do you have a YouTube channel where people can learn your technique? Uh, not a YouTube channel, but I have an Instagram account where I actually have the whole build process of how this, how, how this works. And where can people see that? Uh, on Instagram, you can find me on EC underscore cosplay. That's awesome, brother. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah. All right, enjoy the show. You too.
guy, and he's dressed as the new version of it. Uh, did you make this all you by yourself? Uh, everything except the gloves. Everything except the gloves. Yeah. But you, you piece yeah. that all together? Yeah, everything. Even the shoes. Even the shoes. Check out the shoes. And why the new version of it as compared to the older one? I think he's just more accurate. You like that? Yeah, he behaves more like how Pennywise was in the book. He's more violent and he gets the kids right where he wants them, but they just barely escape. I that, love that. That's the first time I've ever heard that version, so yeah, yeah. I, I would have to agree with you. And balloon, obviously. Yeah, of course. Gotta have a balloon. Yeah. Out of all the scenes in the new movie, which one would you say was either closest to the book or maybe a little more terrifying? I would say the end battle, uh, where they're beating up Pennywise with chains, old steel rods. I, I thought that was just awesome. I love it where he was like, you know what, now I gotta kill this clown because yeah. you know, the ultimate turnaround was like, oh man, he's gonna bail on his buddy? No, don't do that. I, I don't think he's gonna be keeping Dax's trophies anymore. Q, given the situation, uh, down there with a bunch of your friends, what do you think the outcome would be for you and your friends? Which one of your friends isn't going to make it? Because you know there's at least one or two. I, I think one of my friends is possibly Call him out. Let's call him out. Let's, which one? Chase. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Chase. Sorry. 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 It was a pleasure talking to you. It's an awesome outfit. Uh, Thanks. Sure to check us out. We'll, put, we'll post this on the, the Sinister Creature Con page so you can see it. Uh, what is your name again? Eli. Eli. This is Eli. It at Sinister Creature Con 2018. Thanks, buddy. Sinister Creature Con 2018, and I ran into the unlikely person I thought would be here, but he's here. It's Deadpool. I would argue it's not unlikely. I mean, we're at every convention. Conventions just open up a massive portal, dumps us all over. Oh, what was the most exciting thing you've seen so far? Uh, actually, I really like some of the crypto taxidermy that's around here. It's been very fascinating. It's been a lot of good ideas. Uh, not in that way. I've seen your internet for history. Don't judge me. And who are you most excited to see as far as the stars that we have lined up this year? You know, I really haven't delved in yet. I'm going to have to take a closer look at that. Let's well, so look. Well, now we got Brandy from Joe Dirt. That's worth it. And as far who do you think might one up you as far as uh, craftsmanship and uh, costuming here at the event? Uh, I've actually seen a lot of good pyramid heads around. Around. I think they're going to get here. Yeah, we got one behind us right here, and then we got the big ones by the doorway. Oh, I have places in high school. That's rough. 
Deadpool wasn't fair. Alright man, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks.
at Super Creature Con 2018. I'm checking out the vendor section and I came across some wicked badass. I'm gonna go on a limb and say, this is all handmade. It's handmade, yes. How, how long does it take? Pick something. Tell me tell me which one. Some of some of them can take a couple hours, some of them can take a couple days. So what the eggs. The eggs take at least three or four days. Yeah. Three or four days. Yep. That's labor love. <laughs> As I said before, I've worked with like Photoshop for like an hour on one piece and kind of like, oh, it's taking forever. I, wow, three days. Yeah, three days. But, I mean, they look amazing and then you got various colors in there. I do, I do, yeah. Now, do you plan all the colors beforehand? Well, I kind of have a general idea of what I want to do and then um, I kind of add other colors in there with it. So, no two end up exactly the same. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Then that way somebody's getting something completely original. Gotcha. Alright, what about the little dragons we're looking at right here? These little dragons, they can take four or five hours to make. Now, are you sculpting these? Yep, it's all hand sculpted with polymer clay. Gosh. Yeah, because I'm looking at the detail on the skin. Get a close up of that. The little dragons right there. They got scales. And the eyes look amazing. How'd you do the eyes? You know, actually the eyes, I have to buy them that size. And they're, it's just a cabochon with, with a print glued on the back. These ones are hand painted. So the big right. ones I paint myself, but the little tiny ones, my my hands just don't, yeah, I, just want to get I just can't get them that small. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't, it doesn't look right. <laughs> now, so. out of all your pieces here, which, which one you say, selling out, like hotcakes, and which one was your favorite to work on? My favorite one to work on was this refillable notebook right over here. It's my absolute favorite. It's refillable, but it's beautiful. It's one of a kind and it'll last your whole life. So that one's my favorite thing. The thing that's selling the most right now, I'd probably say, are the keychains. Um, yeah, the keychains. We're selling a ton of those. So, yeah, they're fun. Mommy skulls are always in, so you can't go wrong with those. Well, some of them glow in the dark too, which is like extra badass. So, you know, in case you lose your keys in the dark, you're yeah. set. Yeah. <laughs> and where can people find you? I'm actually on Facebook. I have an Etsy store, and I'm local here in Sacramento. So, um, yeah, everything is pretty much online these days. Right on. So, I mean, for us local people, the shipping will not be an issue. Awesome. Shipping is not an issue. Okay, and to go. And I have a, a business card. There we go. With a website, fancy new website. So. I will gladly link this at the bottom of the video. So Fabulous. get you that foot traffic everybody wants. And I really want to thank you for your time. You have an amazing little shop. Here. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>
2018, and where are we, bud? Uh, we're at the Cemetery in Martin House Group, the Terror of the Night Halloween Productions. What do you guys do? Uh, we are a haunted house located in Modesto, and we have three other haunts located in Sixty Terror. Alright, alright, so you're all over. Oh yeah, a little bit. Alright, what do you got here at the booth today? Uh, right now we got t-shirts from $5 to $20, and we also are selling makeup from $5 to $20 to bring down to the side. Is she part of your booth? Uh, yes, uh, the one in the curly red hair, she's our main. What would you say is the biggest draw in your, your haunted houses? Um, the biggest draw is definitely our scare appeal and our location where we were. It was perfect because we were at an abandoned mini golf course. Yeah, like a mini oh, okay. <laughs> nice. It was pretty cool. Yeah, sure. Alright, now this is year round, right? This is not just. Unfortunately not, but for the acting and like scaring side, no. But we do have like, we're starting a new business with uh, just doing the makeup side of it. Okay. And we uh, go around selling, like uh, going to birthday parties doing that. Like, like it. Okay, so we can get the space like at a little birthday party. Yeah, yeah. For birthdays, celebration, weddings, whatever you want to do. So when little girls don't want to do princesses anymore, yeah. go with that. Yeah, we have a whole booklet to go from. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Right. Okay, now where can we find you online? Uh, online. You can go to cemeteryofmarthouse.com. It's uh, right here on the card. It's going to be right here on the card. And I will definitely drop that in the link so it's a lot easier for people to click and go. Man, thanks yeah, for you your can time, also man. go to Facebook too. Facebook Cemetery and Rolling House, or you can go to Monster Cemetery. Drop them a like, drop them a follow, man. They got some badass shirts and really wicked face paint too. Thank you very much. Con 2018, and I stumbled across this really awesome booth that got a little bit of everything. What's your name, dude? Rick Kitagawa. Okay. Like, he's got ties. I'm gonna go on land. Are these uh, silk? Uh, they're actually uh, my, my, they're actually microfiber, so Micro. all vegan. Yeah, ties. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Tell us a little bit about your process. Yeah, so I actually do all the design work for everything. I also do the silk screening on the ties, um, as well as all the t-shirts I do. And I also do all the design for the enamel pins and the paintings and everything else. So, keeps me busy. Well, all done in-house. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about your pin club here. Yeah, so I have a subscription horror pin club where you actually get a short horror fiction, you get a pin, and uh, also 13% of the proceeds go to charity. So it's all a good cause and you can kind of build up your collection. You can't be that. I'm like, my backpack has a few pins, so I'll probably have to grab some before I go too. All right, tell us a little bit, uh, maybe if you got something secret you've been working on that's coming soon. Uh, you know, it's just uh, really been building up the Evil Pin Club, so it's a uh, kind of surprise every week or every month. So uh, I got some uh, definitely creepy demonology stuff coming up soon, and uh, I think people will be stoked if they're into that. All right, man. You heard it here, and where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me at rickkitagawa.com or the evil or evilpin.club. I got you. I'll throw that in the link at the bottom so it's easier for people to find you. Check out this badass stuff, man. Thanks for talking to Great. us. Thank you so much. Take care.
नाइस We're at uh, Sister Creature Con 2018 and uh, with the artist Jose. Jose, check out his booth. Alright, give me a little bit about your process. Oh man, it's a long process. It took about 15 hours to finish one. Um, it took about a whole month or so to finish one actually. Wow. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> this is about three months of painting. I barely, I barely started painting. Uh, I've been tattooing for about nine years now. So I guess the painting just came naturally. You know, I don't know. I've, I've toyed around with Photoshop and I felt like I was pretty badass. But for like an hour of work, I was already like, oh my god, this is boring. So you took 15 hours. <laughs> about 15 hours plus, yeah. Maybe plus, yeah. Wow, dude. And they do look amazing. Thank you. The really texture on there looks really nice. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Alright, and you got a contest going, right? Uh, a raffle, yeah. So raffle. You, you, buy a, uh, you buy a print for 25 and I, I draw the raffle tomorrow. So you win my original and get painting. Do you hear that, buddy? Do you hear? It's uh, tomorrow, right? Yeah, for okay, tomorrow. Yeah. You guys come in today, make it in by tomorrow, check it out, show them that it one. You guys can win my original gift painting, my very first painting ever. Alright, and where, where can people find your work online? Um, I have my cards, I have a, uh, my Instagram, and I have a Facebook as well. And you guys can contact me on my phone number as well. All right. I'll be sure to link all this stuff in the bottom of the video so you guys can check out his work. It's really amazing. You really have to be here to see it, to you know experience it. It looks really badass, man. Yeah, come check me out. I'll hook you guys up. Thank you.